Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys something that you've been asking for for quite some time. Uh, today's recipe is going to be a summer vegetable risotto. Uh, what's special about today's recipe is uh, I'm going to be incorporating summer vegetables. Uh, so you have two contrasting ideas, a very thick uh, porridge-like uh, risotto with very light, fresh summer vegetables. Uh, that's obviously very fitting for the season right now, it's summertime. Uh, so there's just a, a plethora of uh, you know fresh vegetables at the market that I picked up. Uh, some of my favorites today, I got some corn, uh, sugar snap peas, uh, some fennel, a little bit of uh, patty pan squash, um, and uh, some other things that I'm going to show you guys um, you know in the recipe. So really with all that said, uh, the only way you guys are going to learn how to make this is really by sight um, and by doing it yourself at home. So uh, let me just show you guys how I make my recipe uh, today's summer vegetable risotto. Uh, so let's get in the kitchen making it. So the first thing you want to tackle in this summer veggie risotto is your vegetable preparation because technically it will take the longest and you're going to spend so much time and focus on your risotto that you won't have any time uh, during that process to prepare your vegetables. So you want to get it all done beforehand. So like I said in the beginning, this is going to be a summer vegetable risotto and I'm just going to be using an assortment of vegetables that are that are in season right now and that I, I particularly enjoy. Uh, so the veggies I'm going to be using are fennel, uh, summer squash, sugar snap peas, white corn, scallions, and a finishing garnish of sliced radish, parsley, and lemon zest. And these are just all optional veggies. Uh, as long as you can swap them out with any veggie uh, that's in a particular season or uh, that's just really good um, at the moment, uh, you can absolutely do that. So at this point all your uh, vegetables should be prepared and ready to go last minute um, aside from any larger vegetables that you're going to have to cook alongside your risotto and in this case it will be the fennel which I'll address in a few minutes. Uh, but at this time get a medium sauce pot on medium to high heat and uh, add your olive oil then the risotto and toast for about a minute. So after you've lightly toasted the risotto, making sure that you haven't browned it or achieved any color on the rice granules, you're going to add your white wine and continue vigorously stirring, uh, making sure that you stir up all that beautiful starch in there, making that porridge consistency. Uh, then you're going to reduce it about halfway and then you're going to add about a cup of water and continue the process until you have a beautifully creamy risotto. About at this time, halfway through the cooking process, I'm just going to quickly blanch my fennel just because it's a larger vegetable and it won't cook inside the risotto. So this is about three quarters of the way through the cooking process of the risotto and here I'm going to add some cream, uh, any small vegetables that need further cooking and uh, this is just going to ensure that uh, the, the small vegetables and the risotto uh, are going to cook at the final process at the same rate uh, so that when they're completely finished uh, they'll both be beautifully tender. So I've drained all the water from the pan that I was cooking the fennel in and in that same pan I'm just going to lightly saute uh, my squash ribbons with just a little bit of olive oil and salt and uh, that'll be basically the finishing touches on the risotto. Um, also I'm going to finish off the, the creamy risotto with a little bit of butter and uh, I'm just going to get ready to plate. So 
So once your risotto is basically finished and everything's uh, cooked and ready to go, uh, just assemble this little garnish that will top off your risotto, uh, which is basically just parsley, sliced radish, uh, some lemon zest, olive oil, and salt. Um, also, I'm going to toss in some sliced scallions in the risotto, stir, and uh, this will be your beautiful summer vegetable risotto. Risotto's finished, all the veggies are cooked beautifully, perfectly, um, beautifully garnished with the radish, the parsley, a little bit of lemon zest. This is just a, a beautifully light risotto, uh, so uh, I guess I just I need to taste it and uh, tell you guys how it is. Mm, really creamy. The cool parsley salad gives it a whole different dimension to it because you have this really piping hot risotto really creamy, really rich with uh, the tender vegetables. And then on top you have this almost cold, crisp uh, parsley salad um, with the zesty lemon and uh, some of the crisp radish. Just, it just works really well together. Mm. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe as much as I did. Uh, it's definitely a well-rounded risotto, especially for this time of season. Uh, so as always, please subscribe and thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, comment below for future video requests and uh, just critiques on my channel. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.